This is our king post, which we're going to put in right now. It's always good to make your measurements an eighth of an inch bigger, just so you can have it nice and snug. It's easier to smack it in with a hammer than it is to try and hold the post in and screw it in at the same time. So. Okay, so next we're going to put up the next block. As you see, I've already put it up in that corner over there. This is a very heavy beam, so the only way to do it by yourself is if you block it up and then jack the middle. So next, I'm going to put in a block over here. We'll put it in again an inch below what the main height of this is, which was nine and a half inches. So we'll put it down at ten and a half inches to give us a little bit of play to get it up in there so you don't have to force it in. After that, then we'll replace the blocks with posts in the middle here to hold the beam up temporarily while we put in our main uh, support um, posts. So. Now any block will do, these are just the cutoffs from the LVL that I was using. Um, I was going to double up with 2x6's to make it a little thicker because sometimes when you're lifting the beam up, that end will slip off if you don't have a thick enough lip. So it's good to double up your lip on your, on your block there so you don't have any problems in any words, especially doing it by yourself. There's also other ways you can do it. You can also attach something underneath here and screw it to the bottom. right? This will help you lift the post up on your own if you don't think you have enough strength to do it. Or there's other ways to put in other handles and so forth and so on. You can actually screw handles onto the sides of this. There's lots of ways to do this, but um, either way, uh, when you're lifting this, there's um, the best way to do it is with blocks. So We will put this guy in right now, and I will show you how to lift up that beam. You also want to make sure your blocks are secured in well. If you don't secure your blocks in well, this is a heavy load sitting on that. It could easily shear your screws if you only have one or two in. So it's good to put in three or four just for extra support. It doesn't hurt and it only takes an extra minute. So. Exact, as long as you're in the right area, right? Because we're going to replace it with posts, anyways, to jack it up. So.
electrical out of the way. We're going to be doing some wiring in the next after we get this beam up. And um, maybe I can show you some wiring of uh, how we do um, older home snaking. In fact, we're lucky because the rafters all run this way and there's a lot of easy access. So it's, it's going to be good. Okay, so next we're going to put up this beam. Now, bear with me. It may look struggling, but um, it's, it's not as hard as it looks. So um, I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to lift it around this block here, and that's the only thing, and slip it up on. So um, we'll go about that right now. Oh, okay. Strength, stretch, prepare, lift with your legs, not with your back. Okay. We'll see how this goes. I hope this thing doesn't slip off on me. Um, I got it pretty secured up there. So what I'm going to do is go down, lift up, bring it over to the side just slightly. Okay, lift it up, and over, and there we go. See that? Not that hard. It only took me a couple seconds. We got the beam up there perfect. Now. I can put in my temporary supports here to hold it up, okay? And then after we get this fully up, as you see the rafters, now the rafters run very straight. They're, they're not sitting level on top of this. So I have not screwed this top in yet because I'm going to have to shim underneath the rafters to level out this board with this, okay? So um, we're just going to snug that up and then we're going to go about that after. So. Anyways, I'm going to do that right now. We'll put in the support beams and then I'll show you how to build your posts. Also want a nice large level. Um, this is the 78 inch uh, Husky. Um, any level really do doesn't matter. They're all milled very well. You can go with any typical brand. This one's got earth magnets in it so it actually sticks to ferrous metals. Um, but any large level does. You can't just use a four foot level if you have a span like this because you're only measuring over a four foot span. So if you're out a sixteenth of an inch over four feet, um, that's a uh, 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 quarter inch. Right? And then, sorry, <laughs> too much on the mind. So that's a quarter inch, but that's only four feet. So you're like, oh, it's only out just a little bit, but over that whole span. So this is 12 feet. So you multiply that quarter inch by four. And what do you get? One inch. So that's a lot. That's, that's huge. You, and, and that's the thing. You just can't go by a short distance. So the best thing to do is get a larger level and it'll really, really help in, in getting things a lot more plumb and square in a house. So, but you still need four foot levels and all the other levels. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we're gonna we gotta put this up into the ceiling, right? So we're gonna put our in in our um, post. So all we basically do is we're gonna smack some in just to raise it up high enough. Okay, easy way for you guys to do it, but best thing to do is just get some beams that are relatively a little longer than this. Okay. Smack them in until you can get it up, and then um, they don't have to be perfectly level because we're just putting them in to hold this tight against the ceiling, and then get everything level from there, and then we're going to put in our posts. So, so this is 48 and three quarters, so we'll go 49 and a half, right? Because there's a gap here, and we want it just a little longer. So I can smack it in and give it support. So.
there. So you want it at least um, enough distance away from the block so you can get in a post, right? You, if, if you put it too close, you won't be able to get your posts in and then you're just going to run the hassle. So at least keep it two to three feet away from the block where you put in your main support here, okay? You're not your main support, but your temporary supports, and then that just gives you easier working room. So, as I as I said, I cut this a little longer, right? But again, it's a little higher. So we're going to smack this in. It's going to be on an angle, but it's just going to be temporary. It's just to hold it up, and then I'm going to put in a real one, another one beside it, kind of like an um, an A. So it holds it up in place, and you just get, you just got no worries at all. So. And that dang electrical's in the way. So we will. Hmm. You're exactly where I want to go. Right. Electrical box in the way. Okay, so that is not going to work with the electrical box in the way. <laughs> oh, I'll just keep it a distance away from it then. do now, since the bottom is sliding out a bit, that electrical box is in the way so I can't get a good swing at it to get it to stick, I'll just temporarily nail it over the screw here. No. That'll hold my position or I'll smack it in. Okay, so, see that? Now, good and solid there. That's got good support. Next thing, doesn't hurt to throw a screw in there, stop it from lifting, right? There we go. Okay, so next. We're going to put in another one over here, then we're going to build our beams or our posts. So,
Okay, same thing guys. I'm going to screw it in at the bottom here. Just gives it a bit of a pivot point and allows it to stick while I smack it in. And then this will fully put the beam up in place and then we can either lower it or, um, or shim it, whatever we need to do to make it level and then we're going to put in our beams. Again, leaving enough, enough distance from the edge of your post there so you can get another one in, right? So you can get your post in. Okay, see? It's got a nice little pivot point there now, and it'll stop it from moving. 